Why am I looking at you? You're a picture in a frame. I make believe you're next to me, but I know it's not the same. Why am I looking at you? You're a pixel on a screen. Your animating principle is nowhere to be seen. Why am I lost in a loveless fantasy when somebody real is waiting out there for me? Why am I looking at you? I've enjoyed the year. Okay, hello fans. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Doreen D TV. If you are new here, you are welcome. If you've been there for me, you're also welcome. I want to say thank you very much for being a great fan. And I want to say, tomorrow, being on the 20th of September, is my husband's birthday. Like as I said, I said there will be a giveaway on the 21st. Because it's on the 21st, then I will know people that are qualified for the giveaway and people that are not qualified. Now, let me introduce this channel again to you. This channel is all about relationship, how to rebuild relationship, how to know if you are in the right relationship, how to develop love in a the relationship. Then courtship, how to go through courtship without any stress or form of any, any distress entirely. Then how to build your marriage towards perfection. Then the other addiction is lifestyle. Sorry for the shading. I don't know. My lamp has little thought. But anyway, I know you are seeing me and you are hearing me. That is what matters. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave this uh, uh, channel. And always click on the notification, but notification button to get notified anytime I'm on screen. Then, if you've been there, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you for following me. Thank you for being a good friend. Thank you for being a great supporter and a great inspirator. I want to say, I, uh, I, I can never left you behind. Because I know that you will never left me behind. So, here we are today. I got some questions. But those questions are left for on Monday or probably Tuesday. I don't know how it's going to be. Because on Monday, I may not be chance to teach. Rather, we're just going to play a game of luck. Then, today, we are going on a new topic, you know. We are done with how to build a good relationship. But, there are still more to it. But that will come later, when we have advanced in it. So now, if you've not watched that, just go through the channel. You will see it. Part one, two, three, four. It's not a long talk show. It's just a short talk show, very short, and um, you can get to, through all of them within in less than two hours. You're done. You understand? So now today we are going to a new topic, which I will introduce to you. Never don't be curious to know. I will just go straight to the point. Our new topic starts today, and I, this topic titled ways to rebuild a broken relationship yes this has been a challenge to most of us they say a broken relationship is like a, blow, a broken a glass that you cannot amend that is a lie a broken relationship is not a it's not like a broken glass neither a broken marriage is like a broken glass no it's just is that is just a tip on how you can rebuild your relationship so, in short, to a standard level. You understand? Don't say because your relationship is falling or is broken, then you will give up. No. If you are thinking of giving up, first of all, listen to these tips before you decide or before you conclude that you're going to give up. Because there is one thing you must know about relationship. I tell you this. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Okay, if you leave Mr. A because of one problem or the other, if you leave Mrs. A because of one problem or the other, the Mrs. B or Mr. B you are going to, is that person more perfect? We will find out all about all that in this very topic. We will find out if that person is more perfect or is better for you to rebuild your own relationship. Because for me, 
as a person to tell you the truth it is better for me to rebuild my relationship than to go for another especially we women see they can't men after us but men they don't they believe they are superior which is likely to be true men are superior over us when it comes to relationship marriage and you know the dignity of every woman is respecting your man the dignity of every woman is this missus a married woman so if you are a young girl and you're not in relationship it's as if the whole world is against you and i believe you and i know this very well that if you are a young girl and you are not a, a tango or because your, your relationship is broken people may think that it's your fault even when it's not your fault. So it is good to try to rebuild it than to run away from your shadow. What makes you think you can run away from your shadow? What if that man is your destined husband and you run away? And you young man, what if that lady you are trying to run away from is your destiny wife? That means you take your wife to be girlfriend and your girlfriend to be wife. How, how, how possible is that is the first question. So now let's go back to where we are her ways or tips on how we can rebuild a broken relationship that is where we are today so if you like this topic that we're about to blast don't forget to thumb up leave your comment and please ask a friend to ask a friend to subscribe i am always here i yes three days you see me on screen is it's just my policy why is like that is that the days i'm not there i have to prepare what is coming up next you can see it's not something that you can just wake up from sleep and start even though they are all here you have to use the right word at the right time to avoid leading people astray now how we can rebuild a broken relationship it is very very important and very very simple number one on how we can rebuild a, a broken relationship initiate a friend a friendly and a polite dialogue i know that people want me to explain but you know now it's one of our policies we have to finish listing before we start explaining you understand so, so number two be clear about your intention when you are trying to rebuild the relationship, you have to be clear about your intention. It's very, very, it's very, very important. Don't you know that you are trying to rebuild a relationship and you are still beating around the bush? So your intention being clear is one of the tips and it's very, very important. It's just like you went for an interview. They ask you a question. You leave, you leave answering a question and be beating around the bush. What is the meaning of that nonsense? Now, let's go to number three. Love is another thing you need. Love is another thing you need to rebuild a broken relationship. So, for you to build a broken relationship, to make it perfect, you have to develop, first of all, develop love. And this is one of our biggest topics that we have not touched, how to develop love in a relationship, in a foreign relationship, in marriage, in a, in a, a broken marriage. Because you have to, to, build, to rebuild a relationship, to rebuild marriage, you have to first of all develop love. Because if you don't, if this, this, this four-letter word is not there, which I said, love is made up of what? Action, decision, and what? Commitment. So I said in my previous video. So if these three things are not well utilized, I, I'm sorry, th that love may not exist. And if, even though it exists, it may not be proper. Sorry, this one is disturbing me. I am tired of the woman. I think I'm going to dash it out because I'm done with it. It's really, really off now. So now let's talk about number four. Build a bridge and get worse and get over it you see this statement is something that always make me smile build a bridge and get over it i know by now most of you will be curious what how, how can someone build a bridge and get over it yes in a relationship nothing is impossible you can build a bridge and get over it 
See, don't bother ask me why I'm not stable because you see this over here is giving me a dick. I, I, I prefer being my natural self. Was that sometimes, you know, women, we need to be on a, in a very simple way. You don't need to look over tattered, not over beauty. You can see I'm not good at making up. I'm always like this. So <laughs> you don't bother ask me, my darling, why you don't go for makeup? Don't try yourself because my husband loves me the way I am. You understand? So, build a bridge and get over it. It's number four tips. And number five tips. <clears throat> this one is very hard. So you say, but very, very simple. In a relationship or in that marriage you are trying to rebuild, be honest. In a very good way. Let's be, let me be specific. Be honest. And you being honest, you have to be that honest in a very good way. Do you understand? So be honest and be honest in a very good way. Do you understand me? Don't let me speak another language because I, I, I'm almost getting there to speak another language. And number six, hmm, you want to hear this one? Brainstorming. See, you have, see, this brainstorming, I, I like it very well. It's one of my tips. I think this one is one of the things I used to get. I, I did get my husband brainstorming <laughs> if you make use of this brainstorming i believe it will work for you i like it very well because see there is one thing you must know in all these things these things are very simple to do just that the, the mistake people make is this you will leave those important things that will help you in that situation to go for another first of all you see i don't have brainstorming hmm. I won't explain, not even little, until we get to the explanation stage. And another tip is what? Release control. I did not say release control. You know what I mean by this? No, I mean release control. Releasing something, control the way you release some certain things, especially from your mouth. You understand? News. When it comes to news, bad, good, or ugly, beautiful news. Sometimes controlling how we release it is also one of the things that helps us in rebuilding a relationship that's already fallen or a relationship that's on the edge of a collapsing. And number eight, apologize. Apology. Apologizing is another thing that saves a dying relationship. Apologizing. Do you know that apologizing can stop a war? This apology that we all neglect. Apologizing is very important in most of the things we do. Sometimes it's even good you apologize even when you know that you are right. Because when you apologize when you are right, if your partner is reasonable enough, he will feel guilty and he will come back to his senses and re-apologize. Like me, to tell you the truth. If I mistakenly apologize to my husband when I know that I was right, he must buy me a gift hmm, before he re-apologize. So sometimes we use those things to buy, especially when we, we, we ladies, we use it to buy our men's heart. Do you know that? i just tell you one of my secrets. And another tip is what? Take responsibilities. Don't look at me. I know that when I say take rest, most girls will be saying, how can a lady... Come. A lady must take responsibilities of, his, of her relationship. A woman must take responsibilities of her marriage. It's not only men that take responsibilities. Take it or leave it. Yes, men take responsibilities. Likewise, a woman. Women take responsibilities in, a, in relationship, in marriage, in whatever. So get this right. It is good to take responsibilities when you are in relationship. It's one of the things that help us to raise a falling relationship. Do you understand? If you like, take it. If you like, leave it. And one thing you must know is this. All this world, they works together. You can't do one and leave ten and say, but I did this now. The Mrs. Daniel said, if you do this, come. I mean, do all. Don't do one and leave all and leave the rest. 
If you do or apply all and it will, it will work for you. Don't think me that we speaking, not that I'm perfect. I'm still learning. But at least I'm still adding little to the ones I know, which is very, very important. Do you understand? Now let's go to another one. Avoid pushing button. Do you know what, what, what I mean? Don't even bother because with time we will know what is that button that people push that we need to avoid. Pushing button, it can destroy relationship. It can make relationship collapse more than anything that exists on earth. Pushing button. You may not understand until we get to the explanation point. And in a relationship, another tip that help us is thinking positive. Especially when your relationship is collapsing. At that point, what you need mostly is thinking positive. Because you see our mindset, it works with our action. When you are thinking positive, your action will come out positive and everything will work perfectly fine. I don't know if you understand, but if you don't understand, when 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 I we go into explaining these statements one after the other, I believe you will understand. And the other one that help in rebuilding a falling relationship is this, or a broken relationship. Be genuine. Let your feelings be genuine. Let your action be genuine. Don't act. Don't pretend. Do you understand? You just let everything, all the step you make that moment be genuine. No acting, no pretending. No. Because if you pretend, the day will come when the breeze will blow. Foul Nyash will do what? will open and the truth will do what will come out and broken relationship will be broke and another uh, 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 how will I say it another subheading is enforcing your boundaries enforce your boundaries in a relationship for you to win the war because rebuilding a relationship is like staging war you have to enforce your boundary this all these things i'm saying is not meant for just ladies these are for both men and women it's not only women that rebuild relationship it's not only men that rebuild relationship but it is easier for a woman to rebuild relationship than a man because women heart is deeper than ocean why men heart i don't know i'm a woman keep what 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 stirring the conversation keep stirring conversation away and the the last but not the least is letting go yes for you to be able to rebuild relationship you have to let go of some certain things because those things if you if you do not let those things go maybe those things will let you go that means you will lose he said this thing that he did to me it was so painful i will not forgive him if you don't forgive him how will you how would relationship for survive so now we are going to take all this explanation one after the other and bear with me as we start gradually we are taking them one after the other. Mm. You can see I'm hungry. I'm hungry. But I didn't say you should come and give me food. My husband is taking care of me. Just that. I've not eaten this morning because I'm trying to make this note as crucial as it is. So now let's start. I believe with this short time, you pour up drink water now. So let's come back together. Initiating a friendly, polite, a friendly and a polite dialogue. That is where we will start from. Don't be deceived by the word. They are just simple word. When you initiate a conversation, you see this? When you initiate a conversation, let's say you say hello. So you're trying to rebuild a broken relationship. 
and don't say don't say relationships that have been broken for like 10 years you will tell me that this thing will work now like before that 10 years the, the man or the lady have moved on don't be deceived by the appearance now initiating a friendly and a polite dialogue it's just like it's just like a, a, the simplest conversation you can have with anybody but to get your partner your ex-partner attention or your, let me say your partner that things is not moving well with both of you now the uh, the the relationship is getting a kind of separate you know relationship is supposed to be like this like this hmm? but the moment something like this begin you know get give space the space comes out then that is what i call broken relationship because relationship not supposed to be separate it's supposed to be together to like they are always in, in contact i mean positive romantic contact now when you in when you this number one tip is how you, start, you can initiate friendly and polite dialogue if you write your partner that you before are maybe have misunderstanding and you know that your mind is there to go back to that relationship you know that that is the best place you can be just say hello or hi anything or quick invite is enough you can invite you understand just the fact that you sent them a message may be enough but depending on how they have blocked you when I mean how they are blocked, you know, by blocking, they may not block you on phone. It depends on how their heart has let you go. That is what I mean. Because if their heart have let you go to the sense that they have moved on, it's going to be difficult. But if they are, they, like, all this, like, uh, I have misunderstanding with my baby, let me just see, like, have someone with, to be, that's those kind of thing. This may work. When you just say hello, a little invite for anything. Like make, try to reconnect with the person. Try to reconnect conversation with the person by saying hi or hello. Like me, like me, I will say, say, how are you? Or how are you doing? You understand? Or you can say, hi, good morning. It's enough. Then you have to, when after then you may need they also mention whom you are. Hello, uh, good morning. It is me. You know what your name is. You understand? You may need to. When you do that, this is all that needs to be said. You don't need to go more than that at that moment. And do not say anything else or send more than one total message at a time until your partner responds. Do you understand? Because if your partner don't respond, mm, because if your partner don't respond, you in person may get angry and you may go with off word. You understand? So it's better, you know, we talk about patience. When in this very process, patience is needed. When you throw that message, hello or hi, uh, good morning, it is me, uh, Mr. Mrs. Mr. or Mrs. I don't know. Uh, yes, let's say your name is I don't know. Mr. and Mrs. I don't know. You have to be patient and wait for your, uh, I don't know, your request to be re responded to. And when your request is responded to, that takes us to tips number two, which is be clear about your intention. Once there is a dialogue open, that means when your message has been responded to, Alice could utilize the opportunity for what it was. You understand? Let me tell you one thing. Don't be afraid. This, this word goes straight to women. Women, we women, we know that our mind is still with that man. And you will, you will be afraid to tell him that, please, let's come back together. See, when you know that that man is the best man you can be with, do anything possible to get to get him back. And if there is something you know you are doing that makes the relationship to go astray before, amend your ways. It's very, very important. So this is very thing that be clear of your, about your intention. 
it is very important that you be clear about your intention that moment you have initiated the dialogue a very simple dialogue just use, utilize the opportunity and do what be open upfront and honest about what you want just open up exactly what you want don't go beating around the bush however you know that you want to take open up don't go and be quarreling the man eh, that, I, I don't know you don't don't you miss me no this thing i know that this thing is easier for men to say that is why i'm concentrating on women because if a man really wants a woman back and he knows that yes that man that woman doesn't have anybody and I trust men. Men will just come up to you and say, please forgive me. Let's just come back together. But we men, they, you see, pride. Pride is one of the things that broke all this relationship that make us go our separate. At the end of the day, we'll be saying, and I know. And I know is the last thing I expect anybody, any of my followers or any of my clients to say. You understand? My clients know that this are I know. I always warn them about it. That don't do something that will make you to say, and I know. You get. So, when when you know that yes the simple dialogue is there the little communication is there just utilize it and say exactly how you feel what you want this will signal to the other party that you respect him or her and help rebuild the truth you understand the trust that was previously broken because broken relationship is like loss of trust it takes only loss of trust to break a relationship. If not, if there is trust in that relationship, it cannot break. But the moment the trust is lost, the moment the, the, someone lost trust from you, that will lead into breaking a relationship. So the moment you open up to the person, that may linger into trying to rebuild that trust back. Because you cannot go back to who you don't trust and say, can we come back together? If it's a man or if it's a woman that did that, the other party will respect that fact. That yes, he value what we share together. If the other party is reasonable enough, do you understand? Never expect anyone to read your mind. Never. Don't think that your partner will read why you why you write him or why you invite him. Is it is your partner God? You and I know that no. So it is better when your partner responds to your chat. Just utilize it and throw the bomb. Tell him how you feel and why you, what you want. You understand? Because the fact of the matter is, nobody can, no matter how, how much you focus on transmitting thoughts. You know, see, there is no way you will focus on transmitting thoughts that someone will read your mind. So when after uh, that, uh, that's uh, initiating dialogue by and after the communication has been taken up, then the third thing you need is love. Love is all the both party need to rebuild that relationship, to rebuild that trust. The reason you are rebuilding a broken relationship is because you either need something or care about the person. See you see you now look at it if you broke up with a guy who cares about you so much i'm using a lady as an example so the main reason reason why you go back to that relationship is because what you know that that guy cares about you so you need those caring those primary thoughts or probably you as a lady you love that person you, or you let me not say love you care about that person so what the main reason why you are going back to the relationship is that the person care for you or you care for the person so even if you need something focus on the other person focus on the interests of your partner at this point in time not what you want in that relationship do you understand if you show that you care about the person the person, your partner, will definitely reciprocate. You understand? Because if you show your partner that you care about him very well, 
your partner must definitely reciprocate and he will respect you and whatever you want in due time you will get it so one thing for first thing first is keep your need in that relationship aside and focus on the on the care you care of about your partner focus on the your partner interest that moment you are rebuilding the relationship is very very helpful and very very important you know i mentioned something i said build a bridge and what get over it now we'll get to the tips of building a bridge and get over it drop whatever issue you used to have in the past do you see what is building a bridge any issue you know that you used to have in the past in that relationship drop it it's not the past anymore rather it's the present you can discuss the issue you had in your previous attempt at a relationship but dwelling will only make things worse if there is issue in your relationship before the relationship you are building before if you continue to be discussing it with your partner believe me or not there is no way you can review that relationship rather things will get worse so first thing first build a bridge and get over it when you know that yes you are going back to this relationship just let all the past be past that is the meaning of that statement no go don't think that i said you should know it's just very simple parable as far as the bad things that happen cause some coerce the best thing you would do is let those past go and move on to the brighter side of the relationship you know in relationship when relationship is collapsing do you know what keeps us going what keeps us going is thinking about those good time we we'll spend with our partner because those good time we we'll spend it with our partner the reflection of it make relationship very strong do you understand and very beautiful so the moment you think about those good time bad time will let will give away i hope i'm communicating but dwelling will only make things worse because the moment the more you are thinking about those bad things it's only worse in the whole situation bridge the gap between the two of you and get over your your rift with a quickness whatever that is causing coerce between you and your partner let it as just let it go cancel whatever that is causing coerce so get over your rift with a quickness is one of the things that help us in rebuilding in rebuilding in short in Re re realizing what we need and how we want to go about it don't let the hurt of the past affect your present don't let the sadness of the past be cloud the good the good times you spend with your partners together the moments let the positive thinking overpower the the sadness and let the bad time go so that you can be able to do rebuild that relationship in a very standard way so when i said build a bridge and get over it that is what i mean think about the past and let it go and think about present concentrate on the present and the future that is what that means and another important uh, headline, uh, subtopic is being honest when you are repeating a relationship the other thing is being honest it's very important always be honest even when you disagree when you are even when there is argument be honest just be truthful it is very very important be truthful always be honest in a relationship even when there are disagreements be honest deceit may not have broken your relationship but it's certainly not going to fix it not being honest May not be the reason why your relationship broke in the first place or may not be the reason why your relationship is going down but definitely it will not allow you to fix it back it will not allow you it will not help you in in rebuilding it so being honest will help not that it will help 
And when the relationship is rebuilt, it will make it last. Just make sure that you are neither defensive nor offensive. See the two words, it's contradicted to each other. Either neither defensive nor offensive. Don't be among the two. And if you can't keep it civil, keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? It's very simple. If you know that what you are saying, you can't place it in a very right way, then zip it. Because it will not help you. Zip it and first of all, learn how to place it in a very right way, in an honest way. Don't add salt to injury. Because adding salt to injury may lead into other things that I may not be able to answer the question when it comes to when it comes to asking me a question. As far as you didn't say the truth when it's necessary. Don't ask me a question when you've already spoiled the beans. Do you understand? So for today we are ending here and with time we'll continue explaining we will, in next in next next time we will explain the remaining ones on how to rebuild a broken relationship you can see i always let me leave my video short so that you will have time to watch them and rewatch and and understand what i said word after word please Feel free to ask me any question concerning this topic and the ones I've kept. And also drop any question concerning relationship, marriage, and courtship. Because definitely any question you ask today, a day will come we'll discuss about it. So feel free. Always be free. I am here for everybody. You understand? So thank you very much for being there. Thank you for watching. And may God almighty bless you richly for at least giving me listening here and please if you know that you are facing through these challenges don't fail to practice to practice them put them to work and i believe in all honesty that it will work for you thank you very much and please don't forget to drop your comments like my video and subscribe it is very very important bye so we'll see in our next video thanks for watching and keep following me just keep on following me because a day will come when we will throw a feast on my top commenters followers and my uh, let me just say my top commenters and my best followers i'm seeing all the mails i'm seeing it. even the questions you ask there is a question that we must answer on our next video because probably on our next video we'll discuss on that topic Thank you very much, my great fans. I'm going to miss you all for this few hours. I will be away. And don't forget, tomorrow is my husband's birthday. Tomorrow will be 20th of September. It's my husband's birthday. So don't forget to wish him well for me because he's been a great man. Bye.